Hey guys, welcome to our Park City Remodel. And I wanna walk you through our insulation strategy on this house over here. Remodeling can be challenging and we have a lot of things that we wanna make sure we take care of, although we're still working with some of the old structure. So today I'm going to walk you through our insulation strategy for this house and why we are combining two very different products to provide these homeowners with the ultimate when it comes to comfort, sound absorption, and durability. Let's get going. All right, so a little background on this project, which might help you understand kind of why we've made the decisions we have made as we get through here. So this house was almost an entirely full remodel. You can see behind me, if you look at the floor, you can see where some of these old walls are. The majority of the shell of this house was original. Our team came through and removed a lot of these interior walls that were making it a very tight and closed in space and made some changes to the overall layout, making it a lot more functional for these homeowners. Now we did work with a lot of the existing structure, although we built an entirely new second story. A lot of these exterior walls in this house are original. We didn't want to go through and just add a bunch of cost by really tearing the whole thing apart and redoing it entirely. So we were trying to work with a lot of the original structure, keep what we could, and then make all the new stuff even better, combining really good strategies together to improve this house. So now we've finally made it to the part of the project we're ready to insulate. I wanna tell you a little bit about our insulation strategy and some of the products that we are using on this house. We really, really love to use spray foam. I think it provides us with a few wonderful things. On a house like this, where we have a lot of the existing OSB exterior, when we can use spray foam in these cavities, it really does help us with our air, air sealing strategy. So as we're coming through, our team loves to use a minimum of an inch and a half of closed cell foam. So you'll notice in all of these wall cavities, we've sprayed in an inch and a half. In some areas, we do have full cavities, just depending on the size of the cavity and if it just makes more sense to fill it with foam but this is kind of our minimum. So this gives us a really great kind of sealed cavity. It does help us if there are any penetrations to the exterior. We have a great way to come through and seal that up. Spray foam offers a really high R value for a really small space. So we're able to get a really good kind of base point to start with when we're using this closed cell foam. Another benefit to closed cell foam that I always love, we kind of say it's a secondary benefit to this, is the sound. We're not too far off of the main highway that takes us into Park City here. And before this house was insulated, you could definitely hear a lot of that traffic down the street. At this point, literally all we have in the cavities so far is foam. We even still have some windows and door openings that are left open and we can see a significant impact in the sound absorption. Now, traditionally you would probably see us put a net and blow in insulation over the top of this foam, but we're going to be using something a little different over here on this project. You've probably heard of Henry before. Henry's been around for quite a long time. They offer a lot of products that you're probably used to seeing us use. Uh, one of the great other new products they just recently released was Henry Blue Skin. Now this is their Ultra Touch Denim Insulation. The cool thing, and there's lots of great things about this product, but Henry is recycling an obscene amount of denim from going into landfills every year, finding ways to reuse that, repurpose it and integrate it into residential construction. And this is a perfect example of that. A lot of the things that we hate when using fiberglass insulation would be fiberglass in general, right? We know that when we start to mess around with fiberglass insulation, we have to make sure that we're using all of the proper PPE. So gloves, masks, to make sure we're not breathing in those just particles and really just trying to protect our skin in general. It's a bit challenging to work with and we have to make sure that we're protecting us while we're installing it. And this is one of the great things about this Ultra Touch insulation is it doesn't require a bunch of PPE. So this is recycled denim, which makes it really easy to handle while we're installing. So we're used to working with a ton of PPE when we're handling fiberglass insulation. We don't have to worry about all that PPE when we're working with this product. Because it is recycled denim, 
you can handle this with bare hands. No gloves are really required. Obviously you can wear them and safety is always a top priority, but we're not worried about the irritation on our skin. This product is literally recycled cotton. Another thing that was really top priority for me as we were starting to do some more research into this product to use here in our market, there were two things that I wanted answers on and wanted to understand a little bit better. First is gonna be moisture. One of the things that we're always concerned about is moisture getting into the cavities and getting into our insulation. As long as you have an excellent WRB, we actually have this closed cell foam, so we're really not concerned about penetrations. However, the cool thing about this Ultra Touch insulation is it has been treated with a borate and that really helps us resist mold and mildew. It's an antifungal and an antimicrobial. So this product has really got you protected in that standpoint. Now, another thing that was a top priority for us was fire resistance. This is actually class A fire rated which was something I was really shocked by considering the fact that it is made out of recycled denim. But this is a huge benefit to us, especially here in our market. Now, this comes in multiple different sizes. You can do R13 for your standard two by four wall, or you can do an R19 for a two by six wall. And even better, this product is actually available locally at Home Depot stores around the nation. So incredibly easy to get very simple to purchase and get on your job site and use on your next build. I think the construction industry is wildly wasteful. This is something that we are always concerned about is how much materials and how much are we taking to these landfills. In addition to that, thinking about this house maybe 20 years down the road from now when someone else comes in to remodel it the next time. Are these products that we are purchasing and installing in the homes great for our environment, or how are we making an impact on landfills? Now, although there are a lot of materials that are still in this building industry that aren't necessarily environmentally friendly, this is one of those products that we feel really great about using, considering the fact that Henry is actually recycling a ton of denim from going into landfills, repurposing it, and reusing it on construction sites across the nation. Now, the question that everybody is going to ask is what is the price point of this particular product? Although this is slightly more expensive than your traditional fiberglass insulation, it does actually come in much lower cost than a mineral wool type insulation. So you will see an increased cost, but there is a huge benefit to it when handling it and not have to be worrying about PPE. So it just depends on your particular project, your budget, your environment. But this is something that I think is a game changer for us in our industry. Not only just having a recycled product that's in the home, but also keeping an eye on the safety of our team and the health, long-term health of our team that's installing it. We're really minimizing or getting rid of the fiberglass that is in these houses and reusing something like this recycled denim insulation inside of the walls to help our team breathe better and live healthier, but to also make sure that we're building a healthier, greater home for the life of this home. Now this product's incredibly cool. I find it great that you can just pick this up at a local box store. It does make it really, really convenient to be able to just swing over to the local Home Depot and buy what we need. But this product is fun great new product to the market and you're going to want to check this out for your next project. So swing by Home Depot, get yourself a package of this Henry Ultra Touch denim insulation and try it out on your build.